How would you like to hit the send button on an email and make $10,000, $50,000, or maybe even $100,000 or more? Believe it or not, these are very real results from some big-time email marketers. And before you think of spam, which regretfully some of them are guilty of, a lot of people make a lot of money legitimately with email marketing. The phrase to remember is double opt-in. This means that someone has opted in to receive email correspondence from some individual or company, and it's a standard in email marketing today. Once a prospect signs up to your email list, there are services called autoresponders who manage the communication between you and your prospects. So just what is an autoresponder? Simply put, they allow you to create a preset series of email messages that automatically go out to people on your list based upon a schedule determined by you and based upon when they're added to your list. Here's an example. Let's say Johnny Websurfer visits a popular weight loss supplement website and search the latest information on weight loss pills. As he scrolls down the page, he notices a box that states, Learn the 10 weight loss pills you must avoid at all costs. Get our free weight loss supplement report. Given that this is information Johnny was specifically looking for, he realizes that he must enter his name and email in order to receive the free report. He promptly signs up and in a matter of minutes receives a confirmation email asking whether or not he did in fact sign up to receive this free report. He clicks the confirmation link and immediately receives an email titled, The Weight Loss Supplement Report Part 1. After pouring through the information, he is so excited to have found this excellent information on which supplements to avoid. He anxiously awaits the second part to the report, and two days later, he receives another email, titled, The Weight Loss Supplement Report Part 2. With Part 2 having even more great information, Johnny discovers that the third and final section will be sent out the following day. Sure enough, 24 hours later, to the minute, he receives The Weight Loss Supplement Report Part 3 and is really impressed by the timeliness of the company sending these informative reports. Johnny is really happy with the quality of the information he received and decides to return to the site and purchase their top-rated supplement. Upon purchasing the supplement, Johnny receives an email once a week helping him utilize the best strategies for maximizing his weight loss from using this new diet pill. Now, the above example details the process, the entire process, behind autoresponders. The website owner is able to write a preset series of messages. It can be one, five, even a hundred plus messages they want their subscribers to receive, and then they tell their autoresponder of choice when to send them out. For instance, message one will be sent immediately when the person subscribes to the list. Message two will be sent 48 hours later. Message three, maybe 48 hours after that, and so on. Chances are you've seen these types of sign-up boxes on numerous websites, probably even signed up for a few yourself. Well, most likely, the website owner is utilizing autoresponders somewhere in their website, and they can be a great way to get people on your list so you can remarket to them later, no matter if you do business online or offline. Autoresponders have so much mass appeal that no matter if your business is real estate or ant farms, you can keep your customers and your potential customers informed through relation-building emails, reports, reviews, and more. And the great part? It's all automated. While there are several email marketing or autoresponder services, we're just going to focus on the top four. Now just remember that at the end of the day, they all provide somewhat similar services. One thing to remember about email marketing and a common question people have is this. Should I send HTML or plain text emails? Since HTML will allow you to style your message just like a web page, this is obviously the most aesthetic choice, but plain text is definitely the most reliable. Thanks to differing technologies, email providers can and usually do read emails differently. So just because you quote code the message correctly, certain servicers, <coughs> MSN and Hotmail, <coughs> excuse me, often mess up the original coding thanks to their own proprietary software. Email marketing software has come a long way over the years. So oftentimes, you can create both an HTML and plain text version of your message, and your autoresponder provider of choice will handle who gets what version based on what they know about different email providers. But I wanted to make you aware of the fact that while HTML looks pretty, you can often run into problems in delivery. And not delivery like the message didn't go through, but delivery in how the message actually looks to the end user. With as important as email marketing is, this would be something to avoid at all costs. People don't want to have to work to read their emails. With many of us getting dozens and dozens of emails per day, I know for myself, if a message is sent to me and the pictures and text are all jumbled up, especially if it's from a business, not so much from someone I know personally, 
I'll just hit delete and go on to the next one. The moral of this story is to not let the aesthetics, or the hope for aesthetics, get in the way of your content. Because your content is what people want, not the pretty bells and whistles. Each of the providers below have different ways they deal with displayability, which I'm pretty sure is a word I just made up. But keep that in mind. Here are four of the most popular autoresponder services. In the end, I would recommend either AWeber or MailChimp for your email marketing needs. Welcome to this video training course. I'm going to lead you step by step on how to enable the automation rule in AWeber. With this feature, you can automatically switch your subscribers from buyers list to non-buyers list or vice versa. It's extremely easy. Without further ado, let's get into it. First, after you log into your AWeber account, find the list option button at the top right in the menu bar. Hover over the cursor and you will see a drop down menu. Click on the list automation button. When you are on this page, you will see there is a drop down menu at the bottom above the save automation rule button. As you can see, there are four options here in the drop down menu. Choose the action you would like to activate. You are able to switch the current list subscribers to another list when they unsubscribe from the list. In this case, the action will be activated when the subscribers of email how to list unsubscribe and subscribe to another list of mine. Once you've done selecting the action and list, click on the save automation rule. As you can see from here, there is the automation rule that I've just set. If you do not want this automation rule to take action anymore, you can just delete it. Just click on the red cross button and click yes. And that is all you need to know on how to set up an automation rule. With the automation rules, you can automatically switch your subscribers from buyers lists to non-buyers lists or vice versa. It's extremely easy. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, after you log into the GetResponse account, find the drop-down menu on the top right of the page. Click on it and look for the automation option. When you are on this page, you will see here is a drop-down menu with choose a rule option. Click on that and you will see there are seven options in the drop-down menu. Choose the action you would like to activate. And you're able to switch the current list subscribers to another list when they unsubscribe from the list. In this case, the action will be activated when the subscribers of email how to list unsubscribe and subscribe to another list of mine. Once you've done selecting the action and list, click on the Add Rule button. As you can see from here, you've created a new rule. If you do not want the automation rule to take action anymore, you can delete it. Just click on the Rubbish Bin button. And that is all you need to know on how to set up an automation rule. I was once hired by a client to consult on their email marketing initiatives. They were sending out campaigns early Monday morning to a business type audience. The response was good, but we knew it could be better. They had changed their subject, the content of their message and their link text. They saw some success at the beginning, but nothing huge. There was, however, one thing they never changed. They always send their message at the same time and date. In order to earn my big hourly rate, I had to come up with something that would spike results. The pressure was on and my solution was simple. I told them to send the messages out Tuesday at 1pm Eastern Time. I suspected that many of their subscribers were receiving a lot of messages over the weekend that flooded into their inbox Monday morning. In that flood was my client's message. By moving it to Tuesday, we were able to fight our way out of the weekend clutter right away. The 1 p.m. Eastern Time delivery time was also strategic. My theory was that when these business people checked their email first thing in the morning, they had a lot of new messages to respond to. As such, I wanted my clients' campaign to get their way from the morning rush. The 1 p.m. Eastern Time was a perfect for those in the Eastern Time Zone because they would pick it up after lunch and to those on the west coast of Pacific Time, they would receive their email at 10 a.m a time by which they had hopefully proceed the overnight emails. This small change increased the client's opens by 23% and that led to a huge spike in clicks and conversations. So the lesson to be learned here is to play around with your sending date and time and see what works best for you.